I hear you're uh, taking a trip to Paris soon. Yeah, huh? gonna go next month. Got some time off. Thought we'd go over to the city of light. That's fantastic. I was just there, you know. We had a great time. Let me show you, you these got some photos. photos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta go to these places. I'm telling you right now. They were totally awesome. Look at that. Ooh. So pretty. That, and that is a beautiful shot. And now, where did you take that? I wanna go see this for uh, myself. I took that shot. I'll tell you exactly where I took it. I took it in uh, Paris. Okay, big city. Uh, narrow it down a little bit. Um, uh, left bank, right bank? Pretty bank. Pretty part. Okay, um, and you shot all these photos with your iPhone, right? Yes, ma'am. Well, one thing the iPhone does, uh, if you've got your location services turned on, is it puts little GPS stamps of where these photos were taken right into the file. Ah, I've heard about this. It's called geotagging. Geotagging, All yes. the kids are talking about it. Yeah, it's a hip new thing. Gotcha. So if I have an iPhone, it'll automatically put the GPS data. If I don't have an iPhone, do I have to go out and buy like a whole new camera? Uh, no, there, there are newer cameras that are including GPS chips, but you, don't, you can also sign up for um, certain types of memory cards that have a GPS service that comes with it. Oh. iFi is one of them. Gotcha. So once you've got all that information embedded in your photos, and mm -hmm. uh, I take it you probably copied these to your computer. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're on can... iPhoto right here. Let's take yeah, a look. Yeah, so let's, uh, so once you do, uh, you pop open the program here, select a photo. This is the pretty part. Yeah, no, that's a very pretty picture, a very pretty part of Paris, yeah, I remember. So, uh, so mm -hmm. you just uh, go into the information here. And look, oh, wow, there it right is. Right on the map, yeah. Crazy, it's like the born identity or something over here. It's very high tech. And uh, you can even find more information about it if you go in here to extended photo information here so you get the longitude and the latitude. Uh, I'm always forms. telling people where I am based on latitude and longitude. Mm -hmm. I'm like 37 minutes, 12 seconds, 4 degrees. All your cartography friends love it. Don't yeah, they? exactly. All my master and commander friends. So you get all this stuff in the file and uh, one of the good things is that it stays in the file. So even if I send the photo to a, email the photo to a friend, or put it up on Flickr. Yeah, you put it up on Flickr, it shows up on your Flickr map. Now, what if I have older photos that don't have the geotagging information? Can I actually go in and add that in now? Yeah, you can add that in a number of photo programs to support geotagging, so you can pin them to a map. You just have to know, roughly know where you took the photo, just select it, and then you go in here, and right. uh, you can just find it on a map, and uh, that embeds it right into the file. So besides, um, you know, having the, the data embedded in the photo, I mean, what can you do with the data? What, what, what kind of, you know, products or, or results can you get from that? Uh, well, there's a lot, of, a lot of the photo management programs, ones that link to online services. You can order books with your photos. And so if you've taken a cross-country trip or your own Parisian trip, right. you can actually order a map with your book that shows where all your photos were taken. So I could perhaps put together something a little bit like a My Parisian Vacation by Sam Grobart for like fourteen ninety five, and then like yeah. you could read it, buy it, pay me money, mm -hmm. and then use that for your trip. Maybe, but if you had one on sale or maybe a used copy, that's cold. Man.